Hello there guys, Elizabeth from Norway here <laughs> and sorry for my voice, uh, I have a really really bad cold so today it won't be a lot of talking on this uh, uh, tutorial I'm afraid, uh, sorry for that. Uh, I made a mixed media card this time, uh, it's a lot of different techniques like the dry embossing of the uh, wall stamp and I've made some 3D roses and some uh, cutouts from a note paper and this uh, background is really really no uh, nice. I've, uh, this is my first card with uh, from the series uh, with a little bit of gold and uh, this uh, first technique with gold is uh, a very easy gold splatter uh, uh, method. Uh, I do hope you will uh, join me and try to make this uh, piece. It's uh, a lot of fun and uh, as I said several uh, different uh, techniques and maybe you can learn a uh, trick or two. Um, but first let's have a look at the uh, materials. First, <coughs> sorry, first of all let's have a look at the uh, stamps. I've used the butterflies, the mini flutter, the rose set and this bramble. It's really nice. And my watercolor paper is as usual cold press 300 GSM and it's quite a big piece 16 times 20 centimeters. I uh, printed out the sentiment uh, from this uh, font called uh, Yesi and you can find it on www.font.com. It's, uh, it's uh, free of charge. Um, that was uh, that and then we need to see the rest of the materials which is this uh, stencil, it's, uh, it's called the red uh, brick. Uh, I used that for the dry embossing of this uh, wall. For the inks, uh, Versafine Clay, uh, Nocturne, uh, Charming uh, Pink, uh, Rainforest and uh, the uh, Shady uh, Lane. I've also used some uh, Distress uh, Oxide uh, this time. It's for the uh, wall. Uh, you don't need to have the same colors, uh, uh, the same names on the colors as I have, but do brown, pink and uh, a green one. That will be uh, fine. I've also used some uh, Distress Sprays, a green one and a purple one, and some Dinkles. This uh, Mustard Seed, which is a really lovely yellow, and also this uh, pink, which is really nice. I love that color. And uh, my uh, water bottle, of course. And we also need some uh, brushes, as usual. Uh, not very big ones, it's just for the background. And my lush uh, Paul Rubens metallic uh, colors. We're going to use uh, several of those, um, mainly for uh, the pinks and some blue. Uh, you can see my swatch here made on just uh, both the white paper and the black paper and you can really see the colors on the uh, on the black uh, side of my swatch. If you don't have uh, metallic colors you don't need to use them actually. We need some pens, Posca, black, white, uh, green, uh, a black uh, fine liner and this green uh, Dervent uh, Inktense uh, pencils for some uh, brush up uh, on the bramble. Uh, uh, yeah, here is the, uh, the fine liner. Uh, I have also used some uh, Uniball uh, gold, uh, my Uniball gold pen and an uh, uh, ordinary uh, pencil. And I've also taken out my uh, pan pastel, the titanium uh, white and this little uh, applicator. I like to use uh, finger daubers for uh, uh, my uh, uh, colors, but feel free to use whatever you like. This is a really nice gold uh, acrylic uh, paint I'm using for the uh, splatters on the card. Uh, <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. And it's really, really nice and shiny as you can see and it gives a really, really nice effect. I've uh, done it uh, around, uh, edged around the, uh, the roses as well. And we need some uh, sparkle, my gold uh, stickles, and uh, some salt for some texture. And uh, uh, my bip to bop to glue to put everything uh, together uh, in the end. And this is uh, just a note sheet for this um, uh, uh, heart. Uh, if you don't have that you can use ordinary copy paper and stamp on it or yeah whatever. This is a mouse mat, a silicone mouse mat because I'm 
con use that for my roses. I distress the roses to get the shape and I use this uh, mandala dotting tool for uh, distressing the, uh, the roses. We need some scissors for some uh, fussy cutting and I also need uh, some fixative at the end of my card to fix, uh, fix it all. And I also need some of my watercolors. I used some paints, grey, some greens and I think I did some red uh, and, uh, and purple as well. And yeah, that was all the materials and I really do hope you will uh, join me in making this. It's so fun to make mixed media cards. cards. I don't do that very often, so it's so fun when I when I do. Um, because of my throat, it won't be a lot of talking this in this uh, movie, but I hope you will uh, join me anyway. So let's uh, start. I'm starting with uh, the dry embossing of this uh, stencil, just putting down some uh, colors using browns uh, and some uh, green and some uh, pink. Uh, distress uh, oxides and um, yeah just putting the colors down uh, just uh, here and there and everywhere then I'm going to show you how I do my sandwich I have a big shot um, so this is the uh, base plate and on top of that I put the uh, uh, cutting plate and then a shim uh, this uh, pink is just a shim then my silicone uh, mat then I uh, uh, wet this paper, uh, I spray it on both sides and, uh, and put it down. And then uh, on top of that I will uh, take my stencil uh, on uh, uh, the uh, painted side down of course. And then my, I don't know what this is called, the impression pad, the top one. And then you can see this is really nice. Uh, I've just uh, uh, crack, uh, cranked it through my Big Shot and you can see it gets really, really uh, deep this uh, impression. It's because you wet the, uh, wet the card. I packed a photo from our very first date You packed the water Cause I couldn't carry the weight And into the ashes You carved out a heart with our name Sorry, it seems like I've lost a piece of my movie uh, because I haven't shown how I got these uh, colors on the wall. I just activated the uh, oxides with some water and dragged it with a brush. That's all uh, there is to it actually. And because I've, I've put down both brown, uh, pink and green, there will be brown, pink and green uh, shades. <laughs> Sorry guys. They drown the crying out But there's nothing to cry about Cause there's no Say we told you so, but what good is 
right now
asking me for change and I could use some Think I could use some sometimes All these things slow me down Like the concrete that's been sticking to the bottom of my shoes So who's worn and tired have started wearing through I can feel Reminds me of the ways I am hungry And always running For an open door But on the highway heavy hearted Humming just to hear a sound Loneliness it lingers Through unfamiliar towns All of them stunning
as we traveled across the country wide, Ruby set the pace. Ruby could be fickle and unfit, good as I would get at times. Ruby was the closest thing to home I'll ever know. Yes, I knew it all the time. She was never mine to keep. She gave me shelter on the coldest nights, shaded me on summer days. Nothing ever felt like. So, all finished, and I've matted it with some purple and black. Uh, cardstock and I must say I really do love this piece it was so much fun to make I love the colors I love the 3d uh, yeah I love everything about it actually and I hope you can see the gold it doesn't really catch well on the uh, camera but it, there's a lot of gold uh, going on here I usually don't use sentiments on my cards so uh, it's it was fun to make that as well and as you can see, I've added four more of the small uh, roses, made exactly the same as the big ones. But you know me, I'm just, uh, I'm making the cards uh, as I go along. So I, uh, yeah, <laughs> things uh, happens uh, along the way. So I just added those uh, four in the end. And can you see the background? I just love the effect of the background. You can do that on the other pieces as well. It's just about the splattering, the layering of the splatters and you will get this really uh, cool depth in the uh, background. Uh, if you don't uh, have the same colors as me, use what you have and as usual uh, uh, PM me if you wonder about something. And guys, I'm sorry about this uh, wall that I couldn't or I didn't film that uh, piece where I make the walls, but I hope you got a grip on how to do it. If not, PM me, no problem. But it's very easy because it's uh, oxides and it's just uh, reactivating the uh, oxides uh, with uh, water and you will and drag it out. So you will get this um, same effect as me. Um, please uh, give it a go, post it on Del Bello's uh, Facebook page and uh, yeah, see you next time, guys. Be brave, do art, have fun. <laughs> uh, I'm going to uh, take care of my throat now. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Home again.